Sometimes you want that extra bit of typographic expression, and small caps are a good way to get that. They give this look of elegance and sophistication, but if you aren't careful, you could be making a real typographic blunder. I'm David Cadavy with Design for Hackers, and in this video I want to show you how you can use all the power of small caps without looking like you don't know what you're doing. Great typography is all about communicating hierarchy, and hierarchy isn't just about one thing looking more important than another thing. Sometimes you just want to show that a piece of information is different from the information that's around it. If you've taken my free course at designforhackers.com, you know there are all sorts of subtle ways design pros use to get that clean and clear look that communicates and converts. One of those ways is by using small caps. Basically, the first letter of each word is a capital letter, then all the rest of the letters are smaller capital letters. It's like a mommy duck is crossing the road and there's a bunch of other mommy ducks behind it, but they're just smaller. It's like that, but that's actually not exactly what small caps are. There's a subtle but important difference between fake small caps and real small caps. Fake small caps just feature smaller versions of the capital letters. Real small caps are actually a little wider and fatter than they would be if they were just scaled down. See the difference? So, how do you avoid making yourself look like a total typography noob? One way is to just remove small caps entirely from your typographic repertoire. Nobody will really notice, and there are plenty of other ways to express yourself Madonna typographically. Or you can just make sure that whatever font you're actually using has a dedicated small caps version. In CSS, you can include it in your document like so, and you can actually use it for something like an abbreviation like so. Many desktop publishing programs have a small caps button. And there are too many apps out there for me to go through them all, but sometimes you'll get real small caps from this button, and sometimes not. It depends upon the application you're using and the font that you're using. Some open type fonts have real small caps built right in. So it's better for you to just learn how to spot the difference with your eyeballs and your brain, and then go from there. See if you can spot fake small caps out in the wild. If you see some small caps on a sign in a strip mall, Nine times out of ten, they're going to be fake small caps. I'm looking at you, Chuck E. Cheese. If you'd like to learn other ways to express yourself Madonna typographically, sign up for my free course at designforhackers.com. I'm David Cavey with Design for Hackers, and I hope this video helps you express yourself typographically. Madonna. <laughs>